Hey guys, we're back and we're back um back on Uncharted 4 where we left off, so Onward and upward. Alright, hang on guys. You need tracks in here. There we go. We can just go around here. Or not. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> around Avery's time. So maybe Avery recruits pirate captains to what be his lookouts? That don't make any sense. No, it doesn't. Well, maybe each captain was responsible for a tower, well, along with providing them info. Well, whatever the case, this certainly isn't our final stop on our tour. Treasure, treasure, treasure. Any treasures? Any yeah. treasure? Uh -oh. Yeah. Treasure. Yes. I was about to say, wait, um, are you going to show me it? I don't know. Um, how did I not die? Break a leg from that. Oh, oh, he marked him. Look at that. It's so cute. You zoom in. Guys, can see them. Look at them. They're just little babies. Well, no, actually, none of them are babies. Probably all adults grown up. Stripped away. Something. 
Something was wrapped around this tree. I was wrapped around that tree. and by looking at the stars. Hey, you're describing sailing to a form of squid. The point is, we got it pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. still taking a long time. Oh, shit, stop, stop! I see him. What do we got? Military types poking around. Nadine's guys? Yep. Son of a bitch. Yeah. Looks like they found an old colony outpost. That's the wrong one, right? Well, that's the good news. Yeah, that means it's bad news. The only route to the volcano is straight through them. Oh, shit. You have to drop on. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. No. 
nothing here.
think that's it. Damn it, Rafe and Nadine must have dozens of guys out here. They, they could just stumble onto the treasure through blind luck. Either blind luck. Excavation by explosions. Rafe can't be happy about that. I don't think Rafe has much of a say in the matter. No, I wanted to swing over here. Ooh. Look, another sigil. Huh. Adam Baldridge. He ran King's Bay for a while. He was a traitor, slaver, general scoundrel. Look at you. Yeah. Prison. A lot of books. Contact her, convince her to call off her goons. Ah, yeah, yeah, right. What if we promise her a bigger cut than rape? No, that's not how she operates. She's more of a money up front kind of look. Shoreline. Yeah, they're definitely going all in, aren't they? And getting awful close to that volcano. Singing the same damn thing. But they found the treasure already. Well, look, they're searching every inch of this place. If they found it already, they wouldn't be searched. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. Hey, Sam, you don't mind me asking, how'd you pass the time in prison? Uh, you know, reading, mostly. There was this one guard, saw me as a charity case, I guess. Either check out books from the library for me. Or what'd you read? <laughs> History, uh, especially anything related to Avery and other pirates. Just in case, you know. Sure. But, you know, besides books, push-ups, smoking, Trying to stay out of fights between rival gangs. It's a whole lot of thinking. That's pretty much it. Sam, if you had a guard doing you favors, why didn't you use him to get word to us? Oh, I tried. I asked him to mail a letter to your P.O. box. I never got it. 
That would be because the warden saw it. I got busted up pretty bad. Never saw that guard again. Jesus. I got my own back when the warden decided to room me with Alcazar. That didn't turn out how he expected. You know, come to think of it. Whoa! Looks like Shoreline found something. Go slow. You got it. Treasure, please. <clears throat> yep, treasure. I'm gonna hop out for a look. What you got? Treasure. That that was beautiful. Sully, what were you talking about? Uh, yeah. So, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut no. prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode no, at the slightest provocation. I'm not even going! Location. Why? Dude, I was holding down to break, and then it just kept going. You know, come to think of it, I actually dealt with Alcazar a few decades ago. Even before I met you two. Oh, shit. How are you still alive? Well, he wasn't quite the man he is today. Still working his way up the criminal ladder then. I sold his boss a few woodcut prints I'd smuggled out of Japan. He was into shoguns and such. Alcazar was the go-between. What was he like? Soft-spoken, but intense. Like he could explode at the slightest provocation. <laughs> well, he hasn't changed much then, has he? I got my money and got the hell out of there. Go slow. You got it. Oh, it's like right over there. Okay. Can I get my treasure? I'll be right back. You got something, kid? Yeah, I got it. <laughs> that, I, I, that, I'm. All oh, set. It's Fire beautiful. walks into a bar. Okay, here we go. <laughs> and he's got the steering wheel sticking out of his crotch. All right. So the bartender goes, hey man, what's with the wheel? And the pirate says back, ah, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> ah, I love that one. Don't make me leave you out here. Oh, I meant to do that. So you meant to hurt them?
have no clue where to go. <clears throat> We see all of King's Bay from up here. Yeah. Hey, look. There's the city. And there's the river valley. Ooh, treasure. Where's the city? Oh, my. It is the city. Hey, guys, there's another tower just over the hill. See any shoreline marks? Can't tell. I wonder if I... Yeah, I wonder if they heard that. <laughs> I wonder if it got to them. So, how are you doing? Yeah, still in one piece. I appreciate you coming along for the ride. Especially for negotiating with that rental guy. <laughs> no problem. Hell, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't enjoying myself. <laughs> Me too. Did you look at this? Quite the view. I just keep waiting to wake up and find myself in solitary or something. <laughs> it's all some kind of dream. Sam, oh, no, no guilt trip. I'm just... Let's go find this thing. You bet. here first. Let's uh, check the place out and keep moving. Hey, what do you make of the drawbridge, Nathan? A little out of place. But you don't put up a drawbridge unless you're trying to protect something. Such as pirate treasure? Maybe. Uniform. So, do you recognize this one? I do, actually. Anne Bonnie. Mm -hmm. Operated out of the Caribbean. But she died in jail. At least that's what the stories tell us. <laughs> right. Avery must have invited her, too. Hey, Nathan! Go check this out! Hell, the stairs are busted. There's no way up to the crank. Let's see if I can find something to stand on. There's something. Wait, no, I can't make that. Hey, 
what's this? Oh, there's something up there. Okay. Thank you, Sam, for giving me a little hint by kicking it. I don't need that hint now. I know what to do. I shall not use that hint. I just went on the outside of the place I just was. There we go. No! There we go. Hey guys, there's a massive tower just past the drawbridge. Biggest one yet. All right, I'm up.